Hi folks, Jessica Rain here. I spent time on this week's Facebook live stream talking about how we can build labor power in this country. And one of the things that came up was repealing Taft-Hartley. So let's talk about this law a little bit more and what it means for organized labor. Um, it did significant damage to both the size and power of unions in this country. The Taft-Hartley Act was passed in 1947 by a coalition of Republicans and Southern Democrats which is another reminder that bipartisan doesn't inherently mean good. It was a revision to the National Labor Relations Act. And before Taft-Hartley, between 1935 and 1945, union membership increased dramatically from approximately 3.7 million people to 15 million people. And there are many reasons that are given for why this act was passed, but two key ones were an effort to push back against the power that workers were gaining and reinstate corporate power over them, as well as preventing returning black soldiers from being able to join or form unions. This is a law that shows so clearly the harmful intersection of racism and classism in our country. And Taft Hartley remains a big contributor to the massive corporate power over workers that we see to this day. It prohibits a range of strike tactics, including wildcat strikes and secondary boycotts. It removed eligibility for unionization of certain workers by redefining the definition of a supervisor. It banned unions from being able to access workers at their work site, instead forcing organizers to have those meetings offsite in people's homes um, to talk about unionization. And it allowed employers to stage what are called captive meetings, where they hold mandatory gatherings uh, where they attempt to persuade employees with anti-union propaganda. It made the process of union certification far more complicated and difficult by banning card check, which would allow um, a union to be certified when you get to 50% plus one of uh, employees who want to form a union. The most well-known provision though, of the law is Section 14B, which allows states to enact right-to-work laws that are used to weaken union power. So over the last 70-some-odd years, there have been a few efforts to repeal Taft-Hartley. Um, there were some weak efforts by pro-labor congresspeople in the 1960s to specifically repeal Section 14B, those right-to-work laws. Um, and in 2009, there was the Employee Free Choice Act, which would have allowed card check but it failed to gain traction due to corporate Democrats who blocked progress and tanked the bill. Taft-Hartley is a bad law. It's poorly written and it harms both unions and workers as a whole. Democrats must build the political will to repeal it ASAP, which is what I'm working to do.